Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas, but we are using item number 23 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Gabby sent two boxes in the mail. We had two different weights, four pounds, one ounce, eight pound, one pound, nine ounces. The difference in the weight, okay. So what do we know about pounds and ounces? Let's open up our reference materials first. We should know that if we're looking at our weight and mass, right? You see down there, very bottom left, one pound equals 16 ounces. That's gonna be important for us. All right, so let's let's write this one pound. I'll do one lb equals sixteen ounces. Okay, so the first box had a, a weight of four pounds one ounce. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw four boxes, but I'm going to try to draw them proportionally. So I'm going to draw uh, four squares that are four by four. And that's going to represent a pound. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So there we go. This is going to represent one pound. Because you see here, right, I've got 16 squares. And those 16 squares, the four by four array, is going to represent my 16 ounces. So let's do that. Let's draw another pound. Three ounce make go a little bit farther. Okay, so that's another pound. That's another pound. And then here we go. There's my four pounds. Now I've got one extra ounce. So I'm gonna do this. Doot. I'm just gonna make a little tiny ounce. There we go. Alright, so let's write one pound. One pound, one pound, and then I've got one ounce. All right, so there's my four pounds and one ounces. Now, I need to subtract or take away one pound, nine ounces. All right, so I'm comparing the difference between these two. So I don't necessarily need to draw the one pound, nine ounces. I just need to take away one pound, nine ounces. And this is why we don't necessarily line up our problems like this. Look at this. Four pounds, one ounces. One pound, nine ounces. Well, if we if we tried to do it like this, we would need to borrow or subtract if we wanted to borrow here because one minus nine, you can't do that. But borrowing becomes weird when we have these mixed units. So that's why this picture is going to be a little bit easier for us. So let's use red to take away. First, I want to take away one pound. That's easy. Okay, so I'm going to um, just take away, because I've got that word difference, that whole one pound just goes away. But now I need to take away nine ounces. And you see how this ounce right here is not big enough. So I'm going to take away nine ounces. Uh, I'm going to take away one. And then I'll take away two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I took eight away from a full pound, and then I took that ninth one away from there. So what do I have left? Well, I've got two full pounds. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got two pounds, eight ounces left. If you did want to try to subtract, you could regroup, but if you break up a pound, it doesn't become 10 ounces like in regular subtraction. It becomes 16 ounces. So we need to make that a 17. And then if we do it like that, then you can regroup because one pound is 16 ounces. You would just have to regroup the, the correct way. But either way, you can get it done. Two pounds, eight ounces is our answer. C.